This might not be the best one though. Those are probably your best bet for the yokers. That one's pretty good too. Well, uh, oh, buddy, easy there, turbo. Skeeter, can I have um, some space here? <laughs> can you sit? Sit? Good boy. Good morning, everybody. We are headed to Red Lake this morning. It is 6, 11 a.m. We just got done having breakfast. Kyle made some nice yolky eggs and bacon and toast. And so we're having some coffee. We're gonna hit the road pretty soon and go catch some more fish today, hopefully. It's six miles from here and he said don't, these are for wheelhouses and people are, they're charged extra for those. He said, so don't, don't take, don't those. take those. He's like, you'll, he's like, when you get out there, there'll be spots for portables where you can just pull up. You excited, Sierra? Yeah, I yeah. am. Are you driving on the lake right now? Yeah, I'm excited to catch some walleye. Me too. I'm excited to catch some walleye too and then eat some. I'm actually really bummed that that fish didn't hit me. Oh, oh, I know. Well, it's still there. I know. He's a f though. They'll turn on though. As soon as we start the Johnsonvilles, they'll turn on. That's yeah. what you gotta do. Then they'll interrupt your Johnsonville. <clears throat> yeah, that's what happens. <clears throat> Sierra just caught a mammoth of a Walter here. Sierra. Holy crap. Okay, I'm gonna need you to grab it. Show the thing. folks at home. They I wanna can't. see it. I can't grab it. I need the folks at home wanna see the fish. You can do it. Where? How do I grab it? Grab it. Grab it like you mean it. Yeah, right there. There you go. Right there. there grab you... it. Pinch it hard. There you go. I... Stick your fingers in there and grab it. <laughs> what a Walter! <laughs> Look at that oh fish. Oh my god. That's, Is that a keeper? No. Oh. Is that too big? No. No, you can oh, keep one them. Over yeah, you can keep that's one over. Oh. That's a that's a legal Red Lake walleye. That was yeah. That was that's fun. some good eating. Look at Skeeter. That's <laughs> oh, a nice fish. A little Wally. I guess so. There's got to be Mama Wallies down there. The daddy ones. <laughs> what? Because I said daddy. It's nicer. It's not huge, but it's better than my that little one. Oh, it's a <laughs> nice. Oh, nice Wally. That was a got sheep head. Yeah, for a sec. That one came up pretty hard. Nice one. It's a nice fish. He's gonna go outside. We don't want to run the risk of flopping him out. <laughs> yeah, it did. Another Wally. Easy, buddy. I got him pretty good. Yeah. In the pail, cracking a cold one. Cold bubbly? Yeah. I'm having some champagne. Mm. The champagne of beers. That cherry one is so good. Oh, looks yummy. Oh, she's hot. Nothing beats a 
Nice hot Johnsonville out on the lake. The sun finally came out. It looks so pretty and it's actually not terribly cold anymore. It feel like, feels like the wind died down a little bit. A lot of fishers out here. Here's the keepers for today. It was a pretty good fishing day. I'd call it a success. warming up before we have to pack up the tent. It is nippy yeah, it's out, there. Chilly out there. There's no trees to block the wind on the lake, you know, that's what gets you. So all the lights that you see out there, those those are all fish houses. People people that are gonna either stay out fishing a little bit or are gonna spend the night out on the lake on the ice here. So it kind of looks like a little town but it's fish houses. Okay, so it is a couple days now since we went fishing, but we're gonna do a little fish fry for dinner. So what I have to get started first is I have to wash and cut this broccoli, and I have to cut this garlic for some um, garlic broccoli to go with our fish. So we're gonna cut this up, and then I'll explain what I have for my little fish breading. It's really just a ton of seasonings, um, but I'll get into that in a little bit, but for now I'm gonna start cutting this up. Um, and then I'll get explaining the fish.
So a few weeks ago, Kyle and I did a fish fry, and I made some um, fish breading from scratch from a random recipe I found on YouTube. Um, and I actually made a lot of the breading, so I'm just going to reuse what I made. Um, but I wanted to share with you guys what it what's in it because it ended up being very good. So there is garlic powder, paprika, onion powder, salt and pepper, and then there is also flour and cornmeal. And the key to this recipe is that you want to make sure that you have equal amount of cornmeal and flour. He also adds Lowry's seasoned salt at the end right after he takes it out of the oil. So I'm going to try that too. You just sprinkle a little bit. You don't need a lot, but I'm going to put my uh, mixture together and then we're going to get the fish cooking. Another thing I learned is if you keep the fillets a little bit damp, you don't need to use egg to have the breading stick on. So we have it in a little bit of water. So all I'm gonna do is take this fillet. It's a huge fillet, by the way, look at this. Oh my God, I'm spilling everywhere. I'm just gonna put that fillet on this paper towel and just very lightly dab, just so it doesn't. it's not super soupy. So I just have it like this. I'm just kind of pressing it into the paper towel. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it in the bowl. This fillet is a little too big for this. And coat it with the breading. Our dinner is done. This filet came out way better, but it looks delicious. We're gonna dig in. I'll let you know how it tastes in a second. Dinner rating is definitely 10 out of 10. Yep. Kyle, Kyle yep. would agree. I agree, it's really good. And I love breading like this on fish because it's very subtle, but also adds a little bit of flavor. So it's not overpowering or way too um, crunchy and breaded. It's delicious, definitely recommend trying it. Skeeter wants Kyle's food. He, he ate all the fish, Skeeter. He just took a now. bite off his plate, too. Some <laughs> broccoli or some or fish. Yeah, it was like a piece of breading. <laughs> Skeeter! Well, that is it for this Catch and Cook video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're loving my videos, don't forget to subscribe. Or if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Check out Kyle's channel, Kyle's Cabin. Um, and just stay tuned for my next video.